Yo, what's up? It's Eric Summon the Bandit. Yo, this is Paris Smith, the Mike Doc of EPMD. Are we in the house with Jesus? The blizzard of being with real street flames. Street credibility really ain't nothing changed. Hope you remember me. Which is that mindset at, at such an early age. You know what I mean? Going, going back 25 plus years. Why did you guys make it our point that we all about our business? Because a lot of times you, I, you I, think I, about I, the I, girls, I, the, all yeah. the other stuff. I, I think in the beginning when Paris um, came up with the title, it was just something that we came up with because we were strictly business. As yeah. far as getting the shit handled. Yeah. Once we got into the game, <laughs> we figured out the game is a business. <laughs> it's not a game. It's right, not another right, play right, with. Right, right. right. So we started doing the, the trilogies of it. Right. You know? yeah. Now you guys, but you guys, how, how old were you when you yeah, got into the game? 17, 18 years old. 17, 18, I mean, that's young. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people, when you when you started that young, yeah, you're thinking about the cars and the money and the life. Right. But you guys came out from the, from the gate saying we strictly business. That's yeah. rare. Yeah. You know, well, Paris, like, except for we in the, like, as far as our squad, like, Paris went to college. I was too young to go at the time, but Remy went to college, Keith Murray went to college. These guys, are, these are small kids, you know. So, you guys all came up together. Yeah. yeah. The, the whole Death Squad and different, and different, different, different times. But, right. And, and Gossip Fix, too. We met them in college. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. So, you know. Now when it started to seem yeah. like it's starting to get manufactured, do you, do you feel the same yeah, way? Yeah, that's true. Well, again, I don't think they, they want to see us intelligent. And that's what rap music was, when Public Enemy was around, when Peter yeah. was here, Eric and Paris was given, I remember mean, when Paris was, was doing Gold Digger, I didn't like it at first, but there's football players that came up to them and said, yo, thanks for telling us that story, because they didn't know what Gold Digger was. Right, right, right. You know, so Kanye West could come out and do it now, but at that time, they didn't know nothing, so we was giving them, like hip hop did, we told them about shit like that, or got to get the people, or, or you know, yeah. or things like that. It wasn't me, it was the fame. Right, yeah, like, right, we, right. we gave you right, hip hop gave teaching. Right, right. It was dope. That's what it was supposed to be about back then. Right, right About right. teaching somebody something. Yeah. You know? now, now, you guys have been doing this over 25 years? Over 25 years. Over 25 years. Not to date y'all, but I mean, but that, that's actually a, a mile, so that's a huge achievement. Yeah. And y'all still here, we are over 25 years, to, y'all still together, that's rarity in itself. Right. What was the formula that, that, that just worked for y'all? Because, I mean, even brothers, they, they're around each other so much, they, how did you guys, you know, st stick it out? Well, we just different, you know, we've been friends since eighth grade. Yeah. You know, and it's like the tattoo. That's eighth grade. Since right? eighth grade, so it's like, you know, the music, the business, the money, that's one thing, but yeah. the essence of who we are from when we first met, right? it's always there, and that's always strong in whatever we're confronted with. Yeah. Right. That's dope. That, that's true too. No matter what, like people say, when your brothers don't too, when you get fight with your brother, then the day, no matter what, <laughs> you're still your brother. Sometimes I see him, yeah. like, but I'm, I be moving. I'm a tourist. Yeah. I be moving. Right, right, right. He be like, yeah. And, 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 and it's, it's a comfortability for me though to know that. No matter what, if I look to the to the left or the right of me, oh, that's Paris Smith right there. So right, I'm good. Right. So and then, then someone, if, if 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 he's slacking, he's like, yo, yes. oh, I'm I'm good. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's right the there. dope point about it. So like, y'all both y'all both comfortable enough to check. Oh yeah. yeah. Each other. Yeah. If, if something if something ain't right, the music and at home. He's yeah. gonna be ninety percent most of the time. Who 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 was the wild one? Oh, y'all both wild. I, I, I was well, more like a controller. <laughs> Yo, you need a green eye band. You need a green eye band. That's a bandit right there. It's hard to catch a glimpse. Now, yeah, you went off, and y'all took, I don't know, a hiatus or whatever, you know, and you, you five know. Five years. Five, five years, and you, you know, came in with solo records and all that. Was there ever any doubt that you guys would come back together and still perform and, and, and rock the mic and rock the stage? Yeah, I think it was going to happen. I think that, again, it probably took longer, but again, we was kids. Yeah. And we grew. Yeah. And anybody else grew when you hear stories about going, even you too, when everybody in Rolling Stone, they all did it. Yeah. They was young, so yeah. we grow. But after Tupac and Biggie died, we had to come back. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Did you did you feel like the hiatus made you guys stronger coming back together? Yeah, we got to grow. We yeah. Got to learn. Mm -hmm. Got to go home, pick up some things. Plus the environment we're from. Yeah. You know, we're from Brentwood Bay Shore, CI area. And even our parents pretty much work in the same sector. Yeah. So, so you know, we always got that same intelligence going on like yo tight. you guys are li literally like brothers right i mean we're not literally but pretty pretty much brothers eighth grade that's, that's a long time well, i got good. some i got some friends in eighth grade that i don't really talk to yeah. now you know what I mean? years, so, a long time that's that's a long, a long time. time that's a long but time. now when you really start listening to the music right in right. the lyrics now i really listen to the music yeah and a lot of that music i wrote was counted off of eight so now i hear it's like right it's only one dude i wrote like that like it's my thing 
your customer and so what you're saying. Right. Yeah. Like if you listen to Do you hear our story saying? about to to know because I still don't know where we got the shit from. Yeah. <laughs> no, like, I no, am no. so amazing yeah. and I've been waiting. But it was so much competition. Yeah. You know what the A's was like. And it was yes. and it was it was competitive at that time. Yeah, it was dead. You know, it's yeah. now everybody is all a group. Then. Everybody is it's we got some college record. Don't forget EPMD, we had a chance to watch watch him. We watched Boogie Down Production. Yes. We watched MC Light, yeah. we watched Biz. Yeah. Yeah. We were the last one in. All of that. Yeah. But and so but you guys came in, like you said, now you guys are still, still relatively in that era, but you saying you still pay homage to the rock cam to the yeah. boogie you watch. Do you feel that the new school no, artists do, do the oh, okay? I think they're starting <laughs> to learn now. Right. I think they're starting to yeah. learn now because you know the music is kinda of off balance now. No, it was it's it's like you said, it's it's it's, it's not as much creativity before right. because and from my personal opinion, they, they they want, though somebody nobody teaching them in the like I said for corporate America just let them do what they want to do to win. Yeah. And, and make the stuff dumber to keep us in one level and that's it. Right. How does it feel? 25 years later, just go out there. And I gotta say, I've seen reunion concerts, I've seen tours like this, whether it be rock, or whatever, and I've seen some sloppy performances. <laughs> but this is probably one of the best concerts of its kind that I've seen. Oh, everybody you guys rocks. going out there, like, it's still like everybody an 88. Rocks, man. You know? Everybody, everybody yeah. rocks. Like, one of them, you yeah. watch the Naughty, they tear that building down right now. Right. Man. Everybody rocks. You got, I, like I said, y'all was well, out there like it was. Era, though. Yeah. Do you guys want to, now? You guys, is it still competitive? Do you do you guys want to have the dopest set? Like they can remember us? Well, that's big. Yeah. We, sh yo. we still do. We still yeah, like, like some like, nights. Yo. We still, you know, we switch up with Kane. Rock camera be on after us some night. Like Russ said, he was on after us in Rochester. Oh, right, and he killed. Right. Yo, kill. So the promoters still do back and forth, but we want to make right. sure that we do good. Yeah, everybody does it. Now you said Rochester. Now you know that's where I'm from. Rochester. Yeah, Rochester is crazy. That's why I, I was trying to get to that show. Actually, I don't live there, no, but I, that's why. That's Rock my home town. Came on after yeah. us and Rochester. Yeah, still got Karis one. That's and he was on it. Yeah, because you guys they've been mixing and matching depending on the city, right? Is that but everybody is so dope because everybody hold the same weight. So even though they mix, they mixing up the. Line up with Kane and all everybody is still everybody's still getting they just do. Yeah. You yeah. think like sometimes you're like, okay, well damn, we shouldn't have did that. We shouldn't have put them, put them on that at that time slot. Right. But nah, it's working. Well, like I say, everybody, everybody killing it. Everybody doing what you know, yeah. uh, doing they does. Like I'm, I'm back there losing my mind. Um, so any new any projects coming up? Are you guys anything that you guys have well, what we're working on? What we're touring, touring. We got merchandise coming the whole nine. Yeah, so, th th just look forward. We want to speak stuff to us, but we right, working right. on stuff. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I know y'all from the uh, you know from the eighties, but I'm mean, on Twitter, Instagram, anything like that. If oh, yeah, you yeah, want to tell people where they can find you. Twitter, Instagram, Paris Smith on Instagram, mm -hmm. and Eric, Eric. I uh, am Eric Sermon on on Twitter, Twitter. And, and, and Eric underscore Sermon on Instagram. Yeah, and I'm PMD of EPMD on Twitter. And I'm not on Instagram yet. I don't know who that is, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not you. I'm, 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 oh my God! Uh, that is not P. Well, can I? Can if, if I get a picture with y'all, I'm, I'm putting everybody on blast. Uh, will y'all follow back on Instagram? Yeah. Well, you ain't on Instagram. Well, follow, you gotta get, but you follow back. Uh, All right. Well, listen, man. We got. EPMD. Yeah, he'd be on his I'm, 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 hopefully, I kept my composure. You know what yeah. I mean? But we got legends in the building. With the range, the blizz of the big one with real street fame. Street credibility really ain't nothing changed. Hope you remember me.